Welcome to In Nature's Realm. My name's Bruce Smith, and today I am again on the Goulburn River. And this time I'm going to show you a nymphing technique called the swinging nymph. And the swinging nymph um, is a great technique that you need to employ it in a section of the river like I've got in front of me right now, where it's, I've got a swift flow. And uh, this is uh, typical water where you can employ the swinging nymph. Okay, now the nymphs that you'll need for this uh, technique are as follow. Okay, now you've seen those nymphs. Let's now learn the technique. The technique is very simple, not much in it at all. We just need to cast our fly to the furthest point in the river, lay that down, and then we just let it swing. We hold that fly line nice and tight and let it swing around. And invariably, the trout will take in around a bit. And I just had a tap then. That is unbelievable. Already at a tap. So it's already starting to work this uh, technique. It's fantastic. Again, keep the line nice and tight and invariably at around this point here. We may get a right. What I like to do is give a few strips at the end. Just a bit of trout just following that nymph. And um, by doing that, we can entice them to take. So we'll put another cast out. Let it swim. Okay. All right, now, after you've done around about four to five casts or so, just when you feel like it, take a few steps down. And then, recast again. Directly across is what I like to do. I let that swing. Oh, with that trout, oh, just had another tug. Unbelievable. These fish can't be too big. They might be tiny fish. Now, the Goldwyn's just received the stocking um, of around about 2,500 uh, trout. Very small trout they are, but they will grow in size, there's no doubt about that. And they're going to stock the Goldwyn with 10,000 trout per year. Um, so that's going to be really interesting to see what happens there. I am a bit critical of it, just for the simple reason that it might not work. It might stunt the fish in the Goulburn. But then again, it might work. There's a lot of food in the Goulburn River, so it might, the food might support that amount of fish. Only thing is, we'll have to wait and see. So let's continue on fishing. All right, I'm gonna take a couple more steps down. And we'll recast. Let that swing. Okay, I've got a trout. It's a beautiful trout too. It's a brown trout. And I've got him with that niffing technique, uh, the uh, swing, swinging niff. And I'm going to bring him up to the to the camera so that you can um, see this fish. Now there you go, the swinging nymph. It's a great technique, um, and as you can see, it's been successful. And I've got a nice trout here, probably around about three quarters of a pound. A lot bigger than normal fish, and. Um, Okay, well, let's see if we can get you to have a look at this trout.
Here he is. Beautiful brown trout. He's in the fast current. I'm going to bring him over to the quieter water. There he comes. He's a beautiful trout. Very nice trout. Actually, he's probably a little bit more than three quarters of a pound. He could probably be at a pound in size. Oh, and he's fighting well, well, let me tell you. Fighting really nicely. What you've got to do, you've got to use the flex of the rod to take all the, the struggles of the trout away, and then you won't have a break on the line. Okay. okay, here he is. He's a beautiful brown trout, a wild brown trout, and I can tell that through. Um, whoop, he slipped down in hand there. I can tell he's a wild trout because of the simple reason he hasn't got a fin clip. All the uh, trout that are stocked into the Golden River. I have got the fins clipped, so I'm going to take this trout, take the nymph out of his mouth. There we go. That's it. And there he is. A beautiful brown trout, probably around about three quarters to a pound in size. Wild trout. And he's beautiful. We're going to let him go. Or if someone else can catch him another day. Here we go. There he goes. And away he goes. So there you go. Uh, that's swinging the nymph. It's a great technique, but it's important that you have a run like this where it's really fast flowing. You have that run and that fast flowing uh, water, swinging the nymph will give you success. See you next time.